Hi, my name is Erin and I have been a Zaya Active Independent Representative for two years. So I wanted to come on and give you guys an honest opinion and review of our leggings. So being a boutique-like shop as we are, we release new items every week. So it is hard to review all the different colors and patterns. So what I'm going to do is review the different materials that our leggings are made out of and give you an honest opinion since I've had a lot of them for around two years and tested out the new ones as well. So first I wanna start off with our light and tights. Our light and tights are just what they sound like, light and tight. So these are pretty much everyone's favorite. If you're looking for high compression, four-way stretch, sweat wicking, great for runners, don't fall down. The waistband does not fall down. I have had some of mine coming up on two years and they um, work just as good as they did at the beginning. They fit true to size. So these are our black seven eighths. These um, have a large pocket on both sides that will fit your cell phone and it will stay in the whole time you run. I'm training for a half marathon. I wear these to run and my phone stays in it the whole time. They are squat proof as well, I'll show you. Um, they do not budge, thick waistband. I am five foot seven and they come about above my ankle bone on me. They have the stitch detailing. It does not rub or cause any uncomfortableness when running or working out. Great for high intensity workouts. Great to hide any cellulite, anything you want sucked in, any imperfections. And they do have a pocket on top right here as well. So these come in different lengths. They come in crop, capri, uh, the seven eighths. So it just depends on like what you're looking for. These are just one example, but that's what the material is like. They are amazing. So if you're looking for just high support and a great go-to everyday legging, light and tights are gonna be um, your winner for sure. We have different styles. So we always have different patterns coming out and being released but I wanted to let you know if they're sublimated, which most of our pattern light and tights are, that means they're lined with white on the inside. So if they, they tend to be a little more compressive, some people size up, I stay true to size, but say you're in between sizes, um, it, when it stretches, you will see the white through a little bit, but I love that because it makes it squat proof, you will not see your underwear. But I can be honest and tell you that in our lighter light and tights like this turquoise, I do wear nude underwear through them just because I feel like if I wore leopard print, you would be able to see it <laughs> when, they, when you squat. But um, I haven't tried that, but just so you know, that's my honest opinion. And um, maybe TMI, but um, for today's reviews, I am wearing our Zaya Active No Show th Black Thong underneath all of the leggings today, um, just so you know. Um, these are light and tights as well, but I, these are the gray levels and I just wanted to let you know that I feel like these are extra soft. So I really, really just so soft and still stay up really like those as well in the light and tights and people do worry about like the white, but these are completely squat proof on women of all sizes. I've seen their booties in squat pictures. These are amazing. Um, the print on them is a little textured, it's on the exterior, so it's a little stiffer feeling, just so you know, um, but they do stay up the whole time you run and everything like that. Um, one pair of leggings in our light and tights that come up extremely high is our flames. So these are gorgeous. They have uh, cut out flames from the ankle all the way to your knee or calf, depending how tall you are. And these come up on me to like right here extra high. So if you want extra high, want to suck in your belly, then the flame light and tights definitely come higher. So those are just my little tidbits on the light and tights. If you have any other questions, feel free um, to comment them below and let me show you my next pair of leggings. Okay, next up we have the Lux leggings. So these are going to be almost the opposite of the light and tights. These are going to be buttery soft, extra stretchy. So some people worry about like getting um, saggy crotch in these or falling down. I don't feel like they fall down much on me when I run, but I would say they feel looser in this area. So a lot of people size down one. So this is my true to size, um, but I do have some that I have sized down one. So I would say to not risk them falling down, I would size down one of the Lux. And I would say for running, I prefer light and tights. These are gonna be more for yoga, around the house, lower intensity workouts. So any of our rainbow stripes, they come in different colors, but with the Lux, they're gonna have the stripe on the side and is an elevated piece of material. 
but um, they come in different patterns without the stripes down the side too, but I just wanted to share that with you. And these are high rise as well. They come back to my belly button. They have a pocket actually on the inside here, like tucks in so you could stick a card or a key in there. But other than that, they don't have pockets. Um, they come about above a little higher than the seven eighths of the light and tights did. Um, it's so a super, super buttery soft. These are great for moms, pregnant women, around the house, yoga. That's what I would recommend them for. For running high intensity workouts, I would stick with your lighting tights. And if you want them more fitted, I would size down one. So those are Lux leggings. So Lux are going to be the softest, stretchiest um, that we have. And they do come in different colors and uh, patterns as well. So those are the Lux. Okay, and next up I have a kind of a hybrid between the Light and & Tight and the Lux. This is called a Light and & Lux. So this is the Light & Lux with the mesh detailing on each side. Um, we do have a couple different styles in the Light & Lux. So Light & Lux, definitely high-waisted, higher than the Lux. Um, a thick waistband, no pockets in these. Um, I think these feel a little bit looser right here, um, but I don't wouldn't consider that they fall down or anything. But same as the Lux, I, I tend to wear these to the gym, to lift, yoga, um, lower intensity workouts, and around the house just for comfort. But these are a size down on me, so I think they hold up fairly well. I feel like the true to size would feel too loose on the top. So I definitely recommend sizing down one in the light and Lux. Very soft, buttery soft, comfortable, squat proof. Um, yeah. So Light & Lux would be a good happy medium if you want the softness of the Lux and a little more compression of the Light & Tight. Ooh, this is a good hybrid style of legging. And next up we have the Brilliant Leggings. So these leggings are going to be extremely soft as well. I would say these are less compressive definitely than the Light & Tights, but more compressive than the Lux. So these we always carry in a long black and they come in a variety of different colors and lengths and styles as well but these are just the traditional black these are the scrunchie but actually which we don't really carry anymore but these are the ones i own in black so i wanted to show you um just like the regular black they're going to be squat proof they do tend to give you that feeling of falling down a little bit these are more of my around the house dress up comfortable yoga leggings these are not my favorite for running or high intensity but extremely comfortable and great i had a had a few customers that are just moms who just had a baby and they just want something for around the house this is going to be the perfect legging i wear them in true to size but if you did wear size down one you'd probably have less of that feeling of them falling down during your workouts as well so that's my opinion on the brilliance so next up i want to talk about our performance leggings so actually they've been changing this legging so the last two that were released i've noticed are higher so these are the pair I have. These are called the gray performance leggings. They come in black and gray. Like I said though, they aren't the newest of our performance, but I wanted to show you because I think the material is the same. It has like a ribbed um, texture at the top. Um, I don't know if you can tell, that kind of goes around. So it's, these are supposed to be, feel seamless, which they do. They are thicker. I would say they're a lot warmer than our other leggings. So this one's lower, but the new ones are higher. Um, I was unsure about these leggings and I have had people, it's either they hate or they love them. I put them on and I was unsure, but then I actually ran in them and I really liked them. So you have to give them a shot and see what you think. But I think, like I said, you'll either love them or you'll hate them. They are thicker. They're not, I wouldn't say as, I don't know. They don't feel the same as our light tights. They're definitely a different material, a thicker, and they have like a ribbed pattern right here. I love the holes in the details though. Really cute. And these are actually, these come in different sizes. They're like extra small, small is one size, medium, large, extra large. So these are a medium and I'm normally a small, so I probably could have gone down one and they'd feel a little more snug right here. But um, the newer ones that just got released that are higher, like I said, do come in extra small and smaller separate sizes. So I would probably get a small. Um, they are squat proof and I think you can work out and do high intensity workouts in these, but at material feeling wise, it's a personal preference. So just know they run thicker and um, seamless, but they do have like one seam on the inside right here, and then just that ribbed pattern. 
and the, the perforation and the holes differ on each style. But that is a preference legging. I would say this is a 50-50 love or hate relationship with these. So that's those. So next up, um, these are a new material to our company. These are the Hero. And so these are extremely high as well. I would say they're as high as the flame light and tights. My belly button's down here. I am 5'7", too, just so you know. This is my true to size before. Um, so we don't have these in a lot of materials yet. So this is the camo mesh. Has that really cute mesh detail in the pocket, which I love. But material-wise, extremely soft. I would compare it almost between the Brilliant and the Light and Lux. Just very, very soft, comes up really high. People um, have been saying that they feel like they fall down a little. I don't notice that, so I think it might just be a personal preference. I do feel like they don't hug you up and give you a camel toe, though. They fit you perfectly, which I actually like the little space there, which is nice. And then um, squat proof. Uh, let's see, where do they hit me? Right above the ankle. Very, very comfortable. I actually really like this new material. And I hope we release some more in this material, but that's our hero. So this I would say you could do any workout with and it should suffice. But if you're worried about rolling or falling down, maybe I just stick with the light and tights just from other reviews that I've heard. Uh, but that's kind of my two cents on our Zaya Active leggings. And you can shop um, my link which is in my bio. If you guys have any questions, if you'd like any reviews on any other products, just let me know and I'll try to do this for you. And I hope you guys all had a great day and hopefully this video was helpful. <laughs> Aloha.